Ooh, what's going on YouTube is Donnie B all day. So this video is going to be in reverse. See all that pile over there? Whoop, right there. That's all the wood I've already chopped. And I've been chopping some more. And while I was chopping the wood, I remembered I still have this guy right here. This, I believe, is called the Joker Bush Crafter. Now, normally what we do is we go over the knife. We go over all the specs. We start small, and then we get into the bigger stuff. Um, this is the Joker Bush Crafter. This is actually a really nice looking knife. Um, loaned to me by, hey, it's the Johnson's Knife Channel. Um, check them out, give them a sub. Really good people. You'd like them as much as you like, um, like Scav at Choir Boys Cutlery, and even my man Joe Lo. Um, but uh, but definitely give them a sub, like Carl Ruger and, and, uh, and a whole bunch of others that really deserve i was just thinking of uh uh somebody else and my brain just pfft. oh and bird's back samurai bird hell yeah samurai so um normally like i said we would go in one direction today we're going to go in a different direction what i'm going to do is i'm going to chop up some of this wood and then i'm going to process some for kindling my brother's going out to a campsite uh for his one year anniversary and he asked if i had any firewood yeah i, I have some firewood so I figured I would help him out by first processing it before I send him away with a bunch of logs. I am using, you guys remember this thing. Um, this is my ax that I brought home from Afghanistan. This is a U.S. Army issued ax. It comes with the Humvee kits. I took it home. Not supposed to, but I did. Shh. Um, and this thing is just an absolute menace when it comes time to cutting wood. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and line some stuff up and give it some chops hold on all right so see how quick that was chopped up some wood and now what i want to do is process some so he has kindling so i'm going to do a little batoning on some of the smaller pieces with this guy we'll see how it goes so uh now i just have to find some of these smaller pieces and baton them let's uh try and bring you guys down to the appropriate level this knife really comfortable in the hand tell you that right away I mean right away that was the first thing I noticed is it was really comfortable it's really beautiful um, the g10 scales with the red liners just like a lot of a lot of their knives they do they have that same look in the um, handle department and you know when you have a good thing you know <laughs> why change it but uh, the drop point is beautiful the jimping is beautiful everything so far that I've used on this knife has, is just beautiful. I love it. I love everything about it. Now, this is a used edge. This isn't factory, right? Normally I test factory, but because it was a loaner from the Johnsons, it was used in, I can honestly not hold any bad feelings for the guy for using it because this thing is a user. It is a absolute user. Um, just a sweet, sweet knife. Let's see, I got a, a nice piece of a uh, sycamore here it's long and it's hard so familiar um so here we go we're gonna test right through here it's gonna break through with no problem and it's not even just no problem but it's minimal resistance even on a big knotty piece of wood it just cruises right through you know this is a, a really sweet sweet blade sweet blade if you guys don't have joker knives like i don't have joker knives i've just been blessed enough to meet really great people within the brothers of the blade who you know gave me the opportunity to uh, play with his you know to take it out and see what it can do and this knife this knife is most excellent i mean most excellent i am having a great time just tearing this thing up man I mean, not tearing it up, but tearing up wood with it because I'm not tearing this knife up. This knife is just working. It's excellent. It's just excellent. I mean, I could literally sit here all day and process, process, process. One of the things I'm noticing is impact. Um, because of the red liners, all these shots I'm taking, I don't feel in the hand at all. You know, sometimes when batoning, you hit a blade, especially if you're holding it up top, that first strike more than more than others is just gonna ring straight through your hand. Not this one. 
this one is just awesome. It's just awesome, man. I'm having such a good time with this thing. Um, so let's uh, let's backtrack now. Hold on. All right, so we're gonna go Uber backwards. Um, there's no sunshine, obviously, as you guys can see, but still, you can get a good look at exactly what I'm talking about here. This knife is really super attractive. It is very, very nice. It is a bushcrafter. That means it must be able to skin. This is not just a leather soccer ball, but it's a really wet leather soccer ball. As you can tell by the skies, we've had some rain. Um, and I mean, can it skin? <laughs> I'd say, I'd say that's a pretty positive. Yes. Um, I am, I am digging it. Even though it's a used edge, it's still a pretty sharp edge. How sharp is it? I have no idea. Um, I didn't do the shave test yet, and I guess even after a crazy amount of batoning and processing, let's see if we can make it better this way. Um, there's a piece of wood mixed in with the hair. That's not a big, thick hair. Um, it's just still shave sharp, and that's after what I did with it. This is his knife, which means it's already used. Um, so take that into consideration that it's still sharp, even though it came to me with a factory edge, a used factory edge. That's a, that's pretty, pretty damn impressive. All right, let's do some four foot drops. This is normally where we begin. Check the balance on this own gun. That's right, right nice right there. Four foot drops, dead straight. We'll do some hard downward throws. We're gonna check, ooh, this checks three things. We wanna see the bite, which got a little over an inch. We want to see tip dexterity and make sure there's no bending in the tip. And we want to make sure these scales aren't going to loosen from impact. And there's no way in hell that is happening. That buried in that far. That is pretty darn good. Got a half inch nylon rope. Let's see if we can't do a push cut. And when I say let's see if we can't, I mean let's just go ahead and do it. Um, this is going to be a tough one because it's not a chopper. There's no momentum for the chop. I wanna see, this is a real extension cord with wires in it. I wanna see if we can chop through. <laughs> so, how's that for who's your daddy? Look at that, that is as clean as you can get right there. That's as clean as you can get, and that's barely any momentum. This is not a chopper. Um, did we ding up the edge on any of these wires? No, that thing is full lawless. Let's take a, a whack at the tire here. Bam, all the way through, all the way through, and with a rip, with a rip. I mean, this thing, let her rip, tater chip. This thing is just dope. Man, this thing's awesome. We've got four, leather, four layers of leather, a glad I can speak, and it's going to cut no freaking problem. Um, ah, ha, 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 ha. How did we almost forget with a bushcraft and knife to feather? How, how, how. And I'm saying hello to all my Native American friends. How, 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 how. Look at this. I mean, <laughs> you wanna make a, a fan bushel right there? Look at that, you could put that into art, man. That could be artwork. Let's do some, let's do some pulls. We'll test these nice little, nice little curls. We can get a nice, there we go. Oh, I'm, I'm hitting some ridge here. There we go. Now they're just falling off. You could, I don't know if you guys can see, the curls are actually happening, but they're falling off. And they're really nice too. But I just keep going a little too far. The wood is kind of kind of jagged. It's not even, so it, it's catching these little lips and then doing that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So can we make really tight little curls? abso freaking lootly Let's see. Let's split a piece of wood. Old school. There we go. Splitting wood, no problem. This thing, this thing is a pretty badass little blade. It's super comfortable in the hand, and I mean super comfortable in the hand. Um, it's really attractive, it's really sharp, and it really works. And uh, I wasn't trying to stick that in the wood. I was trying to show you that. So yeah, look at that works too. Now we'll do a throw for real because I totally meant that. 
Uh oh, that one almost got me. That one almost got me. Let's see here. Hey, first try. Look how far that dug in, man. Ugh. Golly, this knife is an absolute winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Um, I'm digging it, man. I am absolutely digging this Joker Bushcrafter. This thing is so nice. So nice. Um, so, uh, you know, I really needed to get this, get this uh, review done because he's allowed me to hold on to it for quite a while now. I've had it for about a week because I've had other things come in. Plus, the weather just has not been favorable. Um, so, you know, to Gene and Kayla Johnson, thank you very much. Um, I'm going to be sending this back to you. And I think I'm going to send you something to play with that you'll send back whenever the hell you want. Um, a little, a little D-bad special. So, uh, that's it for this one. Um, I put down the sheath where I was batoning. Oh, oh, here it is. It's <laughs> a lovely sheath and I lost it. Okay. So let's, um, let's really quickly before we end this thing. Oh my God, that smells good. The Joker sheath, typical. It's got the Joker stamp on it. I like how it's got your belt loop and it does have a dangler so you can attach it to gear or, um, or if you wanted to put a dangling belt loop on there, which I'm not a fan of, but a lot of people are, you have that option. That's really good. Everything is very, very well stitched. It's even tied around at the top. Um, they uh, they do a great job on their sheaths. They have um, water drainage, uh, so that's good if you end up, you know, going nipple deep in a in a river to cross and you got all your gear with you. You don't have to worry about the water sitting in your sheath. It's gonna drain out so it can dry it is a um it's called like a two finger sheath they're called so you grab it and you pull it up that way instead of grabbing the whole thing that's very very typical in bushcrafting you're out in the woods you're crossing through things you're taking a lot of punishment on your on your gear and your body it's nice to have it as much protected as possible um really really well done with the joker bushcrafter huge freaking fan even on the arizo which you know it wasn't for me. I didn't, it's not something I would ever, ever get. And that's just being completely honest. And if Joker saw these reviews, they would say that they would appreciate honesty. That's one thing I absolutely love and respect about off grid. They would want, they, they, man, when I unloaded on one of their knives, um, and had to alter it, um, what they did is they said, that's really great feedback. We need to hear that kind of stuff. Cause if all you do is suck up, then they're never going to know what's good or bad. And they decided that they were going to change the knife that I altered. So I love when companies love honesty, no matter if it's positive or negative. Um, there's, you gotta have it. You gotta have it, man. And this one, all positive. I can't think of a single negative thing to say about it. That is a true testament to the quality craftsmanship and styling. Um, really, really nice. It's getting windy out here and my nips are about to tear through the shirt. So that's it for this one. Hi, I'm Donna B all day. Until next knife.